that's a really interesting question because I don't know because she's done a really great job of bringing Star Wars back into the the meta, right, into the people's lives. Yeah. So I don't know if her resigning would help, but it would definitely change. So so far, we're like four years in, right? Yeah. Had four movies. I'd say it's been. 50% 50% has been good, so that's a decent start. Like, I liked Rogue One, like Force Awakens. Yeah. Last Jedi was awful. I have, to watch it, I have to watch it again, but right now it's awful. I heard it was better the second time. Uh, Solo was mediocre, but I think they're planning to do a sequel. But a sequel to Solo? Well, they set up for a sequel. Oh, why? They did, with the cameo. I think that cameo was just a glorified cameo. Cause I think he was just trying to tie it together. And they also left yeah. it off with her screwing him over. Right, but from what I understand, but that could be like, this is why he became Han. I think it took up place after three. Either way, Darth Maul is cut in half. Well, yeah, so, he came back but he has the legs. Yeah. It was after episode one. After Yeah, so after episode one, episode two or whatever yeah. it is, his legs are cut off, he's in half. Came back for the Clone, Clone Wars, the cartoon show he was in. It Apparently it's the same voice actor from... Rebels, I think. It was a different actor, though. No, yeah, but same voice actor. Oh, okay. Mm. But speaking of Solo, since it did so poorly, where is the guy that's talking? The guy that's it, talking is G. He okay. is usually here with the yeah. beard, but he's feeling a bit sick and glum, so he's sitting behind the camera running the audio He's and director video. tonight. But the reason is so it, Solo did poorly, and now, apparently, it's reporting that they were going to plan to release two Star Wars movies a year, but now that will never happen. Good. Good. So, yeah, that is good. I do not... Like once every two years, I'd be fine with. It. You know what? I think you got to leave a little bit of anticipation in in the in the viewers, right? And in, in the audience, if you're doing it every six months, like there's no mystique behind Star Wars anymore. Like that was the beauty of Star Wars is, especially when they did the prequels, episodes one, two, and three. It was you'd see one and you're like, man, I got to wait two years. So now you're building that anticipation. If you're doing it every six months. A, you're losing your anticipation, and B, you're proving to everybody what you really are, which is Disney, which is this well, stu- like ridiculously huge corporation that's just out there to make. They're as trying much money to do the can. Marvel approach with Star Wars, but it doesn't work because Marvel built up the audience with doing different characters and different storylines. They don't need to do that with Star Wars, though. Exactly, it's Star Wars is up. the original already franchise, right? Like, right. And they can't. Star Wars will never have a movie nowadays be as big as infinity war was no matter how much they set it up infinity war is the peak of setting up a franchise i think star wars right now is more nostalgia based it is but the nostalgia is running out i i want to know what you guys think do you guys think that going forward in the future marvel will beat out star wars to be more popular because i think if not already marvel is very close to overlapsing it uh overlapsing star wars popularity you think so good if you look at infinity war right it was one of the... It's not bigger than The Force Awakens, but it's really big. People are really hyped for it. They're hyped it's for all the Marvel movies. Like, this... I don't give a crap about Ant-Man and the Wasp. After Infinity War, I'm so hyped just to see how it ties in. Because I have a theory. Yeah. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Infinity War, you should have by now. I think Ant-Man and the Wasp will end by Wasp getting turned to dust. Wasp turning to dust? Yep. You think? Yes. And I will be hyped as hell because oh, I will... Oh, so what you're saying is because... The events of Ant-Man and the Wasp happens are before after, are after Civil War. Yeah. So do you think that the movie will end when Infinity Tying War up. Really happened? Yeah. You think so? Mm-hmm. That'd be pretty crazy. Hmm. That, that That's would a be good crazy. theory. Because from set photos, Wasp is not there. Yeah. Ant-Man is. 